Hello and welcome to Video DNA, where the English is bad and the tutorials are good. I'm Irat Habib and today we have a very not exciting tutorial about how to make an alarm clock animation. And it's a pretty cool, uh, pretty cool expression technique. So you can take you can take this and make not just an alarm clock, you can make uh, a car a speedometer or a thermometer or a time bomb. No, not a time bomb. Forget I said that. I, d I didn't say that. I never said that. And first of all, what I want to do is I want to go into the footage and take the digit and make a digit comp. And I want to make sure the comp is only 10 seconds long. Not 10 seconds, 10 frames long. And that's because I want to build um, an animation from 0 to 9. So first of all, I can, if you have uh, CX6, uh, you can right click and it's below here, believe me, you can choose create shapes from vector layer and then I'm gonna get the vectors uh, from the Illustrator file and then I'm gonna go into the, into the content and the group and delete something so I can get the digit I want. But if you don't have CX6, you can select the layer and go to layer and auto trace it. I'm gonna check the preview so I can see how the mask is gonna be and I'm gonna press OK. And now I want to choose all the masks and I'm gonna uh, move them into ads so they're gonna reveal only these portions. And it's pretty lame and it's pretty crooked so I'm gonna go into uh, the extended uh, options by pressing MM and I'm gonna take the mask expansion to 3 pixels okay so now this should be just fine now I want to take this layer and I'm gonna make it one frame long and I'm gonna collapse it by pressing U and I'm gonna duplicate it a few more times until I'm gonna get 10 copies of it I'm gonna select all the layers so I can sequence it by pressing right click and go to keyframe assistant and sequence layers bada boom and now is the fun part. I'm gonna choose this layer and it's gonna be on frame zero so I'm gonna select this mask and I'm gonna press uh, twice on the delete or I can choose a mask and double click it and delete it everything is fine. So on frame one I want to make the one digit so I'm gonna make the one digit and on frame two I want to make the two digit and so I'm gonna make the two digit and on frame three, I want to make the four digit. No, just kidding. Just checking if you're with me still. And if you're not there, I can understand that. That's okay. It's fine. You don't have to watch this. But don't come to me later and then, no, I don't know how to animate an alarm clock. Because you had your time. You had your chance. I gave you a chance and you didn't took it. So... Every time you're gonna do a really repeating job, I, you can talk to yourself. It's gonna move the time. Oh, here's eight. And this is supposed to be seven. Something happened over here. No, I'm, I ha I'm confused. Okay, let's take this one and this one and replace them. So this one's gonna be six. And if you're talking while doing it, it's it's pretty confusing so I you, you should not you shouldn't talk while you're working and now I'm done talking and I'm done working and I have this great animation of 0 until 9 this is pretty nice so once we have the digits we're gonna build a new comp I'm gonna call it clock and it's gonna be 720p and it's gonna be six seconds long and now I'm, I'm gonna take this digit and I'm gonna put it right over here and I'm gonna call this digit M for minutes and I want to make a null that's gonna control the clock and I'm gonna put a slider over here slider control so I'm gonna call this null time and this slider I'm gonna call time 
in minutes. Now I'm going to choose this layer and I'm going to go to layer time enable timer mapping because with this feature I can select the frame I want to take and I'm going to control the frame is going to be shown in this layer by this slider so I want to connect them so I'm going to press alt click to build an expression I'm going to select the time uh, layer and I'm going to make the timer map take the slider so now if 0 is written over here it's gonna be 0 because it's frame 0 and if we're gonna press 1 something bad will happen and that's because this is not frame 1 but second number 1 so I want it to be converted I want to convert this expression to the portion of the second that called frame so what I want to do is to take this expression and convert it to the frame number so this should be divided by the numbers of the frames in the comp so instead of dividing it by this number I can duplicate it by this comp with a big O big C dot I'm gonna go to this little fellow I'm gonna choose comp and frame duration so with this expression you don't need to think what is your comp frame rate so this is gonna do the, the trick so if it's gonna be written one over here or two or three or four or five it's gonna be just fine but the problems comes when I go to 10 because there is nothing in frame 10 there is only 0 to 9 so I want it to be repeating the digit 0 to 9 so what I need to do I need to take the remainder of this number divided by 10 of dividing by 10 so to do this I'm gonna use the modulo and I'm gonna divide it by 10 so what this expression tells me is that this number or actually this number is gonna be divided by 10 and what we're gonna get from it is the remainder so so the remainder of 10 dividing by 10 is 0 so we're gonna get 0 and the remainder of 18 is 8 and the remainder of 120 is 0 so this is pretty nice I can take now the uh, the layer I'm gonna stretch it all over here and uh, after I'm done with the ones and duplicate this and I'm gonna make the tens of the minutes I'm gonna call it double M and I'm gonna move it over here and the expression is right here and in this number I want it to be if it's written 18 over here I want it to take this number the tens so I'm gonna take this number and I'm gonna divide it by 10 so this part you is look looks a little bit tricky but this expression is pretty simple you have the number you have this part that is taking this number and converting it into frames you have this number that tells you how many numbers will be shown and this number is which part of this number we're gonna take so now we have 48 and we can go all over to 59 but what happens when I go through 69 I'm gonna go to I don't have 84 minutes I have only 59 minutes so 0 to 59 so I need to tell this number to go from 0 to 5 that means 10 digits so I'm gonna go into this number the remainder and I'm gonna take the remainder of 6 so every time we're gonna go over 60 it's gonna be cycling through the numbers again so it looks pretty nice so now we have the minutes and this is the time 
to make the little dots. We're going to take a new solid. I'm going to call it dots. Not dits. Dots. I'm going to press OK. I'm going to take the oval mask tool and I'm going to put a dot over here. I'm going to duplicate it, put it over here, and maybe just subtract it a bit. Double M, and now I can subtract it. Okay. I'm going to collapse the layers and I'm going to pull the dots right over here. So now I'm going to duplicate this layer to build the hours. I'm going to call it H and I'm going to put it over here. And when this slider tells us 60, this is supposed to be 1. So I'm going to take this number and I'm not going to divide it by 10, I'm going to divide it by 60. And I wanted to cycle through the number 0 to 9, so I want it to be 10 in the remainder. So now, if it's going to be 120 minutes, this will be 2 hours. So, so far, so good. And let's continue to the next number, because when I'm going to go to 600 minutes, I want it to be 10 hours. So I'm going to duplicate this layer. I'm going to call it double H. Pressing U to reveal the expression. And now I want to take this number and divide it by 600. So it's supposed to be 1 over here. And now I have an alarm clock. But not just yet. Just a minute. Because we have a little glitch. And that's because this number is not repeating. It's supposed to be repeating every 24 hours. So when you go to 2359, then it's supposed to go through zero again. So it's supposed to be recycling. So we can see this number. And this number tells us how, ma how many minutes we have in a day. Uh, let's look at this calculator. And we're going to take 24 times 60. We have this number, okay, that's the minutes we have in a day. That's not very much. And what I want to do is I want to take this expression, and I want this expression, or actually this number, to repeat itself. But I can't do it from here. I can do it from here. I can take this expression and tell it to be the remainder of this number. So every time... I'm gonna go through this number it's gonna return to zero again it's gonna reset so I'm gonna do it, do it to the uh, to the tens of the hours and to the hours itself and let's see what we have here okay we have an alarm clock that is working actually pretty nice and it's it can be a time bomb no, no, not a time bomb, not a time bomb. And that's it. And to give it a little color, I'm going to open an adjustment layer. I'm going to call this color and glow. And I'm going to take the fill effect, put it over here. We're going to take the, the ordinary green. And I'm going to take the glow and put it over here and maybe just increase the radius and take down the intensity just a notch and that's it ah I'm gonna take a text layer snooze I'm gonna put it right here and below the adjustment layer and that's it and if you're a little bored you can select all the layers except this one and this one and make it 3d and now we can open a new camera and now we have a 3d clock 
Actually, there is one more thing to do that can solve a lot of problems during the animation. We need to add one more function to the expression that will make it a little bit more stable. And I'm gonna write math dot floor. I'm gonna open it like this. And just before the divider, I'm gonna end this. How do you call this thing? Never mind. And now I'm gonna take this math.floor. I'm gonna copy it and I'm gonna press W. E. I'm gonna paste it in the beginning of every single line of code and I'm not gonna forget to close it. W, e. paste it and close it just before the divider. Oh, I see I made a little mistake over here. And for the last one, double E, paste, and close it. Oh, this is just mind blowing. And that's just, let's see, it's nice, but I think I'm just past my bedtime. And it's it's pretty late so we all need to go to sleep now or just make alarm clocks or time bombs yeah you can do time bombs but just in after effects not in outside of it so i hope you got a good time and you learned something um i'm liran tabib and this is video dna where the english is bad and the tutorials are good you can support the site by downloading the project files and i'll see you next time